We're here for our last food and wine festival until I leave. It's the last video ever. Not ever. I'm gonna see you again. You come back. I'm gonna haunt you. Whatever, it's bittersweet. I'm really upset about it, so don't expect much out of me today. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We got, what, two hours until uh, two hours the park closes, so let's go eat some knock food. Out. Let's go eat some food. To knock this out. What is our first stop for Water. food and wine? <laughs> Water, because it's hot, and I've been out here for like five hours. CJ's been here longer. I just got off my shift, so we got to cram as much as we can in. <laughs> What's the what's the food review on the water? Refreshing. Refreshing. Not too much ice. Ten out of ten. Is it nice and wet? So wet. Is water wet? So wet. What do we get? Apple streusel. Apple streusel. Ah, are we using the trash can as the no? Are we a little more classy than that? Heck yeah. Yeah, we're gonna use that trash can. Over. Ah, that trash can over there in the sh in the shade. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the prime, prime spot. This is our trash can. All right. We got the apple streusel. It's got apple, it's got streusel. And vanilla syrup. This is so good. Yeah. yeah. So good. So good. You gotta get some of this. Come on. I wanna get some of the streusel. Some of the apple. I'm gonna leave all the vanilla for you because I'm sure it's dairy. All right. Mm. Mm. It's the so good, right? The freshness of the apple, the crispiness of the apple, the doughiness. Oh, the doughiness of the of the pastry. Come on, come. <laughs> and now I like. All right, CJ, what'd you get? Um, I got something that looks like cat food, uh, but it's beef with gouda mashed potatoes, and it's delicious. It's not friskies. It's really not. It just looks that way, but it's good. It's got one piece of beef in here, so I'm gonna ration it. Heck yeah! Did you have a piece of the meat yet? No. Have a piece of the meat. There's only one. I need to ration. Well, it. just take a tiny little bite. Oh, sassy. Do it for the vlog. The people want to know how's the meat. Kind of bland, actually. It's disappointing. Disappointing. The mashed potatoes are good. Though. There you go, folks. The meat. Disappointing. We got the we got the plant-based falafel. Plant-based. Is it a falafel? T is it tazzini tzatziki sauce or tahini sauce? It's gonna be one of the two. Right here. Like the mm. How good is the falafel? It's good. It's actually not dry for a falafel. It's pretty moist. Okay, a new note I would like to share. Uh, the outside is very crispy. So it's a very crispy outside and then you bite into a nice moist inside. And this smells damn good. Mmm, mmm! That's that crunch for you. All right, TJ, what do, you, what do we got? High rate zero, because it's hot outside. And what's that is refreshing. We got the filet mignon with truffle mash and uh, truffle sure. butter. No, I didn't good. get truffle butter because and mushrooms. And mushrooms. Yeah. Uh, why didn't, you get, like why didn't you get butter? I didn't get butter because uh, butter doesn't make everything better. So I asked for my tates. No butter on my tates. Now we're gonna try the meat. It's dry. <laughs> Mine's so good. It's good. It's. Not medium rare though. You for sure get it like it's like if you're lucky it tastes. If you're lucky if it's like not hard. It's well done. Mine's good. Mine's soft. Should I have gotten a knife? Yes. But teeth. And I don't even like mushrooms. But these mushrooms? Yes. Oh! It's a lot easier with a knife and a fork. You're right, it sure is. But it's a lot more fun just biting into it. If you have teeth. That's true. <laughs> All right, so I got a mimosa flight. So I have the tropical berry and blood orange. Are we trying the tropical first? That's delightful. It's very fresh. Berry. That's just cranberry juice. That's just straight up cranberry juice. I think blood orange is going to be my favorite. Nope, surprisingly it's the tropical. Ooh. The blood 
orange just tastes like a, just orange juice. Interesting. This is the tropical. Ooh, that's good, really right? good. Yeah. It's kind of like peach and... It's like fresh. Peach and fresh, like mango. That's, that's real good. Mm -hmm. And we got cranberry. Yep, that's just straight up cranberry juice with some cranberry champagne. Juice. Yep. Champagne. We got the blood orange mimosa. Mimosa. That one's good. It's it's honestly kind of just orangey. It's just flat. It is a little flat. Yeah. The tropical one though is bussin. <laughs> All right, so got the plant-based guava cake. So this on top is guava because I already tasted a little bit of it. And then there's a cake underneath it that's also pink. And then we got some coconut on top, so. Look at that, it's all pink. That is just sweet on sweet on sweet. That's good though. The cake's a little, the cake tastes undone, underdone to me. It doesn't look like it's cooked all the way. No, it's just soaked, that's what it is. It's just soaked. It's okay though. Not bad. I also <laughs> got the guava cake. Uh, it's got a little shaved coconut up on the top with a little uh, drizzle of the guava, the guava jelly. <laughs> right, I'm excited for how pink this is. It reminds me of Barbie. Oh wow! Oh wow! Look! Look how! Look how pink this is. Look at that! Look how pink! Let's try it. I, that is really sweet. But the guava, if it's you like, like guava, punches you in the face. If you like guava, get this because it, you taste it. You taste the guava. It's like a moist cake because it's soaked. It is soaked. But it's this is. I feel like this was the the plant based tres leches from Flower and Garden. But this is like the food and wine version. And honestly, I like this one a little bit better. And the guava topping is like really light and fluffy, so. This is the thing I was most excited to get because I'm lactose intolerant, so anytime there's a dairy-free dessert, I hit it up, uh, and I'd say it's a 10 out of 10. Over here, we got the impossible boneless wings because plants don't have bones. We got a plant-based impossible blue cheese and a plant-based impossible ranch, so we're gonna give her a go. Ooh, she nice. They're hot and fresh. I'm, I'm, I'm a little nervous for the, for the blue cheese. I love blue cheese back when I could have cheese before I came back to some color. So here we go. Ooh, it's hot. Yummo. The blue cheese. It doesn't have like a super blue cheesy flavor. It's got a little like twang to it. But if you're expecting like blue cheese, it's not exactly blue cheese, but it's a nice compliment. The ranch, the ranch is good. This is real good. If you are a plant-based eater, this is something you should try because it is delicious. Anytime they bring any kind of plant-based cheese, plant-based sauce, I'm about to do it. Also, these are really hot. Okay. Bye. This was a great last video to do. I'm gonna miss the sh out of you. And that's it, folks. That's food and wine. It sucks that it's only gonna be the only video that we get to experience this year, but she's going on to bigger and better things. Which I don't know what that is yet. <laughs> but, uh, Food and wine was so fun with you. It was. Thanks for coming out. It was. I would hug you, but you're sweating. I'm also sweating. So. I'll, I'll gently. Just. <laughs> you are sweating. I am. I'm very hot. I would like a shower very badly. All right, CJ's gonna go shower. I'm gonna go home and cry. Because <laughs> it's my last this day. This is it. This is the last sign off. That's it. That's all she wrote. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Toodaloo.